Hi, it's me again with CorelDraw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this file and they really want this font for a neon sign design. I don't understand if they're building a neon sign or what they're doing. I've done it. I'm not a big fan of this, but it would work if you needed a single line font that looks similar to this. So we're going to click on this as a contour. So we're going to go to object and break the contour apart. And then we're going to take our word and we're going to go to object, convert it to a curve, go to object, break the curve apart. So I have individual letters now. Matter of fact, I'm going to get rid of the contour so it won't get in our way. And then with the shape tool, just select one of the nodes at the bottom, right click and break it apart. One of the nodes at the bottom, right click and break it apart. And then just virtual segment delete key, one of the lines. And you kind of get that font. I'm, I'm Like I said, I'm not a, a big fan of this, but it would work. And then I would get rid of some of these nodes to make it maybe a little bit different. The, the zero or the period doesn't have to be done. The S is maybe a little bit more tricky, but just go to the go to the ends of the two extremities and break it apart, break it apart, and then just decide which one you want to keep. And I'm going to try getting rid of the outside. Well, let's see what the inside looks like. I actually like that better. And then you would want to maybe get rid of some of the nodes just to make it look a little bit better. The O is a little more difficult because uh, there's really nothing you can do except for take the shape tool and let's try breaking that apart. Let's see what happens now. There you go. And then uh, the end's a little bit difficult, but not really, not any worse than the M. Break it apart. And you might want to find out which one you want to break apart so we won't have to. And I'm going to try to take away the sharper point. You got a sharp point here, though. And then get back to your shape tool. And after you straighten these out, I'm just going to hit delete. You could make them longer, you know, if you needed to. Uh, and what I always do on this S, what I would do is get the plus key on the keyboard and make a copy of it and put it right there and then grab the other one and hit delete. That way your two S's look the same. Now, if that's what he's wanting, I'm hoping that helps. Um, uh, I'm not still a hundred percent sure that way you could actually take that and you know, make it something thicker than a hairline. He's working in millimeters and I have no clue. But that is a single line font. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.